Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jason. Of course you're watching Old Car Auto Guy, and this is the video you've all been waiting for. The big announcement that's coming to the channel is going to be revealed. Stay tuned. All right guys, so first things first. Old Car Auto Guy t-shirts are now available from me. I've got a few in stock. They are available in the first link in the description below as well. If you want yours, they're very, very inexpensive. You can go down and get one of those Old Car Auto Guy t-shirts now. They come in several colors. For me, I chose green. I just happen to like green. Besides, my wife tells me I look good in green. Who's going to argue with her? Not this guy. So, we want to start off this video uh, before we get into the meat and potatoes of what you guys have tuned in for with a quick Q&A. Now I post it up on my Instagram and I do this once in a while of a Q&A for you guys to ask questions that you'd like to know whether it's something maybe a little bit on the personal side and I hope you don't go there but something that hopefully is related to the channel. So before we go any further let's get into some Q&A. So for each person that has asked a question on my Instagram, I am going to put their Instagram uh, information right here so you can go follow them and see what they're up to. So the first question comes from my buddy Jeremy and uh, his handle is Blue Collar Dipper. And Jeremy asks, how did you and your wife meet? Well, um, my wife and I have been together since uh, the spring of 1997. So you do the math, that's 22 years we've been together and we'll soon celebrate our 20th wedding anniversary. Uh, we met because we used to go to the same church youth group as teenagers. And, um, you know, we would see each other, uh, we knew who each other were, but never really hung out in the same crowd. So, you know, just kind of saw each other from a distance. Um, you know, we don't have one of those love at first sight things, but uh, later on in life we did uh, manage to kind of come around again and, and fall into a, in, into the same group of friends and uh, you know our relationship kind of flourished from there. So uh, thanks Jeremy for uh, asking that question. Now you know. Next question comes from Grant Tommy, a straight six fan. Uh, Grant and I have gotten to know each other pretty good over the last little while and he asks me, if your Cordoba was done the way you like it, what would be the most likely next project build? Uh, Anybody who knows me and knows me well knows how much I love square body Chevy trucks. So basically anything from the late 70s up until the late 80s, um, I love that body style Chevy truck. So as much as I like a single cab in a two wheel drive, I often thought it would be neat to take a crew cab model and put it with a six and a half foot box. Now, which is what basically everybody's doing today with their full-size trucks. Back in the day, you could only get those three plus three trucks uh, in a three-quarter ton or one ton variation uh, and an eight-foot box. So nothing real sporty about an eight-foot box to me unless it's on a regular cab. So uh, I would like to do that, although I think I'd like to take it a step further and put it on a current Silverado or uh, GMC Sierra frame to get that ride quality of the LS motor, uh, you know, and a little bit more power. So th that's a very ambitious plan, but yeah, my next project most likely will be a square body Chev. Thanks Grant for asking that question. I'm sure you already knew that anyway. Um, another fellow that I've met on YouTube, one of my YouTube buddies, Dennis, uh, his handle is driving me crazy 16. He says, what was your first car you owned and and how did you come by it? The first vehicle that I ever had that was actually my own vehicle was an 83 Dodge D100. And it was just a two wheel drive, step side box, short box, uh, with the humongous 225 leaning tower of power. For those of you who don't know what that is, it's a slant six, inline six cylinder. Um, it had power steering, but it had manual brakes and that was it. Uh, very base truck, very good truck. I came across that because uh, my uncle Irvin um, had it and he had just done a uh, little bit of a paint and body job on it. Burgundy on the top and it kind of had a black two-tone. 
Really nice truck. I really enjoyed having that truck, and it's actually still around town here somewhere. Uh, somebody somewhere along the way has painted it all flat, black, flat black. Uh, but being an '83, uh, it, it is now starting to show its age. Uh, thanks, Dennis, for that question. I really appreciate it. So the first question that was asked by Jeremy, uh, who is Blue Collar Dipper, his wife, uh, Mrs. Blue Collar underscore 16, says, if you could build your own brand of car from the bottom up, what body, build, engine, tires, etc., cetera, um, and what would you name it? So basically, if I could Frankenstein a car together, I almost gave it away, well, I pretty much gave it away when I uh, referred to uh, Straight, sixes fan, uh, straight six fans question when I said, I'd love to have a crew, cra crew cab square body Chevy truck with a six and a half foot box on a modern day Silverado frame. So to give you the LS motor, um, you know, and some of the interior luxuries of air conditioning, power windows, cruise, tilt, all that stuff. Um, but also have the ride quality of the newer style trucks. Uh, again, those, those of you who know the square bodies of the day, uh, most of them didn't ride that good, especially if they were the four-wheel drive variation, especially if they had the uh, quad shock uh, set up in the front. I mean, you guys know who, who you are or, or know all about this, that uh, those trucks, they, they looked awesome, best looking truck ever. Kind of rode like crap though. So I'm gonna ask, uh, we'll do two more questions here. So Hunter the Redneck 01 says, what are your thoughts on square body chevs and what experience do you have with them? Well, Hunter, uh, I've already explained it in most of this video. Um, I, I love square body chevs and between, uh, ever since I was driving, uh, I've, I've owned or I have used, like my father had them, uh, five square body chevs, starting with an 82, we've had an 83, 85, 86, and 87. So, um, I, my knowledge, probably 20 years ago, uh, was very extensive. I knew almost everything you had to know. I probably forgot a lot of that stuff by now uh, as not having one and not, not kind of being into them, but uh, I certainly would have another one again uh, and hopefully very soon. Last question comes from Dan, who is Gimme D on cars, Gimme underscore on underscore cars. And he says, where do you see yourself in five years? Well. That's a pretty broad question because I'm not sure if that he's referring to simply YouTube or in life in general. So I'll answer both. At YouTube, I, uh, I don't see myself as a huge YouTube star like some of these big guys, Cletus McFarlane and uh, Street Speed 717. But uh, you know, I'd like to see myself in the tens of thousands of subscribers maybe someday. Um, you know, we're, we're getting close to uh, 400 subscribers as we sit right now. And, uh, you know, I would like to uh, obviously get to that thousand. Uh, YouTube can start uh, paying a little bit of money and hopefully we can put that money back into the channel. Personally, where do I see myself? Well, uh, with the business, I would like to expand into uh, like used RVs or travel trailers mostly. And uh, someday maybe making a second location uh, of the business in another community. But, uh, you know, we're on track to, uh, to do some pretty good business. And uh, so between YouTube, if, uh, if the business fails, I got YouTube to fall back on and vice versa. So guys, there you have uh, some question and answer. I really appreciate you guys reaching out. And I had more questions there. Uh, it's probably the busiest Q&A that I've ever had uh, to do with the channel. So without further ado, I want to make the big announcement. This past week, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I put up a little challenge to see if we could get to 500 subscribers by today. That didn't happen. So unfortunately, no t-shirt giveaways. So the big announcement is this. We're having a contest on the channel. You guys have known all along that my goal for my YouTube channel simply is to reach 1,000 subscribers by January. January 18th is when my first video uploaded. We're going to bump that to the 30th, or sorry, the 31st of January so that we can give us just that extra hairball of time. And I want to reach a thousand subscribers. If we reach a thousand subscribers by January 31st, I am going to give one lucky viewer one dollar 
for every subscriber that I have up to a thousand subscribers. That's right. I'm giving away cold hard cash. Now in Canada, a thousand bucks is a thousand bucks. But in US money, a thousand dollars Canadian is only worth about 750 bucks. Either way, it's cold hard cash right in your hand. You got to be a subscriber to win and we've got to make it to a thousand subscribers. So what I'm asking of you guys is every video that I put out, you share it with all your friends. When I post on Instagram, share that with your friends because the only way I'm going to reach a thousand subscri subscribers is with your help. So the cat is out of the bag. You know what the contest is now. And we're going to start with this at every 100 subscriber interval starting now. The next interval is 400 and then five, six, all the way up to a thousand. I'm going to give away to one lucky subscriber, one of these, an old car auto sales t-shirt. And we're going to make sure that your name gets shout out on the channel and on my Instagram. So guys, I say it every episode, I appreciate you tuning in. I really appreciate the subscribers. If you haven't done so yet, now's the time to do it. Get yourself entered into that contest by hitting that subscribe button down below. The bell notification right beside it, if you hit that, it will email you every time I upload a new video so that you can get in on a chance to see what's going on with Old Car Auto Guy. So guys, we're coming to the end of this video. Say it with me. Stay focused on the windshield, not the rearview mirror. I love you, God bless. We will see you in the next upload.